<laughs> so. Wait, Adam, how did you... Did you just die a few times to get easy mode unlocked? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Yeah. That is, that is the only way to unlock easy mode without beating the game. Mm hmm. Mm. Was easy mode in the original version of the game? Yeah. Yeah, okay. it was unlocked the same way as well. Mm hmm. Although there was that whole confusion with the difficulty settings between like the Japanese version and the US versions. Oh, like every Capcom game. <laughs> I don't know why they kept doing that for such a long time. That was that was so stupid. <laughs> I didn't hear about the other examples. Mega Man 2 well... is a good example where the Japanese version only has one difficulty. <laughs> and then in American version and everything else, they added an easy mode, which was just stupid. Because everything <laughs> dies in like three hits, including mm. bosses. It was like, what the hell? <laughs> I think it might have been most games before DMC 3 or RE4. One of those well, games, I think it stopped. Oh yeah, like in the Japanese version of RE1, 2, and 3, everything's easier as well, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's baffling. And Code Veronica as well. Probably every game. <laughs> <laughs> and that is now why they added the extra very hard difficulty setting in Double Cry 3 Special Edition. Yes. So, what was the difference between, uh, like, uh, the Japanese and other versions of original DMC3 regarding difficulty? The Japanese hard mode became the US normal mode. And normal easy? I believe so. I mean, I mean, uh, was normal easy Japanese easy or was normal? Uh, I mean, easy. I'm confusing myself. I like <laughs> like US easy. Was that equal to Japanese normal? I'm not sure. I only know that the diff that, that that Japanese hard became US normal. That's all I know. I don't. I don't feel too bad then about me just. <laughs> Giving up entirely on DM on DMC3 the very first time I played it. Yeah, the very first time I played it, I got sad. Left. I try, I tr I tried the original release at normal difficulty, and I I got to the first boss, died several times, had to reset the mission. I said no, no, and I stopped. <laughs> it's Cerberus. Because that's it might the have been earlier. Time. Oh, you mean the do with the scythe? Maybe I, think that's I don't know. That, I think that's the only. Like boss, you fight before Cerberus. Yeah. I remember yeah, having a lot of trouble with Cerberus when I first played the game, because he like hit you and then your health went down, and that bothered me. Uh. It was during that time I played basically every single PS2 game ever, so I guess mm. I just uh, wasn't too fussed about giving up easily. Yeah. I guess. I, I guess so. so just, whatever. <laughs> I should stream Shadow of Rome. You know, there was yeah. a time I was actually thinking of getting that game. <laughs> but I never actually did. So yeah, I, if you have Shadow of Rome, I'd like to see that. Uh, I wonder if it emulates well. <laughs> what Shadow of Rome? It's uh, it's a Capcom action game released in 2005. It's, uh, it's really weird. It, it's actually kind of fun, but it's a really weird game. It's... Uh, You've got two different characters you play in the game, one gladiator and one uh, just young, normal dude, and it's uh, set in Rome. And you like switch between the two after various missions. And like the gladiator dude is basically just like an action game. And the right. other dude, it becomes like a hitman game. <laughs> <laughs> Which was really clunky. That, that sort of reminds me of... Um... Well, it probably is better, but like it reminds me of Chaos Legion. 
which is also a Capcom game where there's like two characters you play as, where one is like almost Devil May Cry, but not quite. And then the other character you play as has guns that are so overpowered that no enemy ever gets close to you. That was pretty good. Hey, that, uh, that reminds me of Universal 3 and 4. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have one character, oh. I think it was, it was either one or two levels, and the guns had a longer range than the like side range of enemies. So you could shoot people, and all the other enemies wouldn't see you shooting that person. And you could just kill everyone before anyone would do anything, and then you reach the boss, who then died in like five seconds because you had really strong guns. Huh. But that was only... There's another... Like... <laughs> There's another two PS2 games I never really got around to playing, on Wish 3 and 4. <laughs> <laughs> I would recommend getting the soundtrack of Chaos Legion and then pretending it doesn't exist. <laughs> I have heard I... that the music is good. It Chaos is really Legion. good, yeah. I think uh, I think the same composer who did Chaos Legion also made music for Super 4 and Universal 4. Yes. And those two games also have really good music. Yeah. Street Fighter 4 is alright music. I remember. I remember being initially interested in Honor Bishop Tiger saying, Oh my god, John Renault's in it! Yeah... Which is, not, which, which is not a very good reason to be interested in it. Yeah, I basically heard the soundtrack of Chaos Legion and thought, Wow, this must be a really good game. It was not a really good game. Yeah, you hear him speak in the intro and then he's replaced by Leon. Nice. For the rest of the game. Or <laughs> until, until the very, very, very final cutscene. So, <laughs> whoops. Nice. <laughs> there you go, Anna. Yeah. I tried I doing that one with uh, Rebellion, but I couldn't get it because it's so fucking annoying. I got it! God. I didn't even I need Swordmaster either. Wow. I think Shadow of Rome is the only Capcom title which but released in Europe before any other region. That's suspicious. I can't press it. <laughs> How dare you come out in our continent first? You're going to release Super Shadow of Rome after this, aren't you? <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> and then Super Shadow of Rome Turbo. The Finals. game does actually end with the cliffhanger. Oh. Wow. Ha! Okay. <sighs> One. I did not enjoy it. <clears throat> you didn't enjoy one of the best boss fights in the entire game? I found him to be one of the most annoying boss fights in the entire game. Which boss <laughs> fight is it? Is this the guitar dude? No, it's Beowulf. Uh. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that guy. <laughs> oh god. I fucking hate this boss fight. This is weird, this is like one of my favorites. <laughs> Although there is one attack that is like, unless you're standing in like in a very specific spot, it's like impossible to avoid it. Oh, I don't use that attack to. when he's nearly dead. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't quite remember which, where the spot is. Sectors. Yep. Should I start rendering my videos in 240p? Because this is taking a while. Sure. Okay. I don't want to render 1080p videos during the day anymore. I don't think that's a really good idea at all. Oh. 
Despite how he reacts to them, that, that is something you want to keep doing because his head takes a lot more damage than anywhere else on him. Oh, that really hurt. I keep forgetting as I move. I like Grazi's advice in Adam's stream check, use your heart <laughs> Yeah, Good that plan. might be a little that might be a little difficult to do as Dante. Use Beowulf as weapon. <laughs> okay. Right, come on, this is easy to pull out of. You can do this. <laughs> If you can't do it, we'll have to shun Ryman. <laughs> Ryman Ryman's happiness depends on this. Because it's your birthday, Ryman. Oh, believe me, I've... Oh, there's the attack! I've received plenty of reminders that today's my birthday. Did, did you know it was your birthday? Ramen is yes. your birthday? Ramen is the birthday! Ramen is the birthday. Oh dear. <laughs> nice. Dead. I was reminded quite heavily when Icefox tried to give me absolutely everything in his Steam inventory. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's a good way. That's a good way to use birthdays to your own advantage. <laughs> and getting I drew rid the of line. I drew the line at Team Fortress 2 and Spiral Knight's items. <laughs> you could have put those on the marketplace. <laughs> yeah. Oh would, yeah, uh, I'm sure they would have sold instantly. Oh yeah. It's That's actually very would... possible that would be impossible. I have I have a bunch oh, of Team yeah. 2 items I can trade, but I can't put them on the marketplace. Ah, right. I had a bunch which I could put on the marketplace, and those pretty much just sold instantly the moment I put yeah. them on there. <laughs> I can't remember, but I think someone actually designed a hat on Team Fortress 2 that sold for like $4,000 or something. Something just <laughs> utterly batshit insane. Oh my god. It's mental. Absolutely it's... mental. And Steam is like, oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> we'll so... take that. Margin. Mm. So Gar. Oh, that's, that's me. I don't suppose you were in sex to stream when I was showing off my phone's ringtones. No. Okay. I know what I need to do then. No, oh, no. <laughs> oh God, I remember this. Oh. You run at. God, I can't even remember what the hell I'm supposed to do again. When. Hmm. Win mm. and then feel sorry for this. <laughs> oh dear. Get the feeling that's going to be used that. often. <laughs> <laughs> that Don't is know. one of my rings. It's just it a hint. Be. <laughs> and then the other one is this. Did you buy a Chinese phone, sir, Ryan? <laughs> Is your phone Chinese? Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I tried to just figure that out just from the two rings. I know the Chinese, Ryan. I know the Chinese. Oh yeah, well, get a load of this. That's a big car. <laughs> How would you even hear that? <laughs> I know! <laughs> oh, uh, is the phone ringing or is it just kind of dark outside? Oi! <laughs> I forgot about the one thing you thought. There's one called banana. Cool, good. What's that? There's a banana. Oh dear God. I Apparently wish. That's... I wish that ringtone was on my phone. I'm not even lying. I would use that as a ringtone. Well, I heard. I hear that music in my head whenever I buy a banana. 
same. All right. And I yell, then I yell, Jackie Tabanana!